Well, hello and welcome. As always, I'm your friendly name, Hurt, Dungeon Master Peter. Welcome to Forda Questa, a fated choice. And today with me are my two lovely friends um, that I found in a dice addiction AA meeting. The first one is, I swear, I rolled all the ones. Or was it 20s? Rob, who wears dice to bed. Why do you wear them? I don't know, that seems very uncomfortable. Second is, the man who made braids out of dice, and also jewelry out of dice, Ramon. <laughs> what are you braiding? Um, <laughs> you, you don't want to know what I'm braiding, man. Oh boy, okay. The less you know, the better. Indeed. And in spirit, we have our turtle from the Turtle Club, Travis. In spirit. <laughs> and we have our mimic lover, who is now... <gasps> Raising mimics on a ranch somewhere in Nevada. Dom. In spirit. Bro, those are just skinwalkers at that point, then. I don't know what he does on his day off. I hope it's not raising skinwalkers. Yeah. Alright, so we left, left off. We invaded Rob's home. Sorry, we invaded Otori's home. The Giver Mansion. Dun dun dun. Just committed a little B and E, that's all. Yeah, with our first party, since we split into two, went through the front. And the second party went to secret passageway to Atori's room. That party was Atori, Christmas, and Ren. With Caitlin. Uh, what's that? Who was in her party? It was Caitlin. Did you put Mikhail with her? And Marty. My Morty, name. that's right. Morty. Morty. Oh, Eddie, uh, rest in peace. R.I.P. Morty. I feel like I need a cardboard cut out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Make it life-size, just put it back there. Oh my god, Brienne might steal it. I saw her today. You did? Oh. She was in the park with uh, Mike. Mike Lennon. Which one's in? Uh, he went to Toy Story. Ah. And she couldn't come sooner so I can see eh, if you're attacked. Brianna, if you're watching this, I'm hurt. She's not watching. Jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> just go ahead and message her. So I heard you went to the park and you're not going to watch just, my D&D session. Just twist the knife in deeper, <laughs> why don't you? She's not watching you. It's rough for you. That's what I'm here for. It's okay. I still love him. Gotta keep it real. There's a point of keeping it too real, Rob. I need you to bring it down a little bit. Inject some fantasy into this game, please. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I did all this for you. I have more boxes to increase the levels. Mm. Which, there will be one point where there will be stacks and stacks of them. Stacks and <clears throat> stacks and stacks. Which is going to be great if I can figure out the best way to do a dwarven arena. A dwarven area. With different levels of the mine and everything. So that's going to be cool. But it's going to be Legos. a lot of standing on your guys' part. Legos. Lots of Legos. But anyways, that's a future endeavor. Um, Duper and flavor. Duper. Uh, so don't mind if I accidentally get them their faces in this. I meant to just try to get you guys the best view of where their character is at. So to kind of show you guys from this angle. Sorry if I get you in full view of this. Here's Rob! <laughs> so are Flair. <sighs> Alright. Uh, since they are on the second floor, and they just beat some Goliaths, because every time they try to lockpick, one of them shows up. What would you guys like to do after you just defeated your second Goliath? Question, how many more do we have to beat to level up? We're going to grind out Goliath. You know, every time you ask that question, I move it back. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Oh. But now, I do. So you're saying we can't just stand here and grind them out? So how many Goliaths does he have? Let's not answer that question. I'm asking it. <clears throat> Alright, so obviously we're not allowed to go in here right now. Have we tried any other door? Nope. <laughs> Let's try another door. But we tried this one, the one we came out of, and the Goliath showed up, so they might all be that, that way. That is a possibility. This was your room, right? Yes. Okay. 
Um, what's in the What's in the room right across from us? Uh, it's a door. You can't see into this room. Hey, yeah, Tori, what was in that room across from us over there? As I point at the room been, across. Would it have been my sister's room? That would have been your sister's room. I'm guessing I don't. Okay. No, nope, that's actually really good. I hate you for that, but yeah. Sorry. That's great. No, I'm glad you just, like, you went with it and you were right. Yeah, no, it's your sister's room. Okay. All right. So, your memory is really well. Um, I did live for 12 years. Yeah. Until a fateful incident. Until something happened. Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, it caught my eye. Oh, no. So what if I try to lockpick this door instead? What was our what was our goal of getting through here? What, did you know there was something in here? I'm this room to... used to be bigger. This room so I knew to... this room was bigger. Okay. And now there's a wall here with doors, so I'm kind of curious. Gotcha. What so happened. you just straight up want to know what's in there. Yes. All right. So you kind of just overlay um, what normally like this would be. This would be like the mansion's hallway upstairs, which would consist of several more rooms. And it's just now dramatically shrunk. Gotcha. To about half the size. Well, actually, more than mm-hmm. half. So. Alright. Um, no, 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 where's no, my no, thing no, at? No, 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 no. I am going to attempt <laughs> to do the lockpick thing for this door. Oh, yeah. Jeez, where is that? I'm still in my armor. Can you move Christmas over here, please? Thank you. I'm sorry, what do I roll for a lockpick? Where the f- your, it's your sleight of hand plus proficiency. If you're proficient in lockpicking. You're proficient in three schools? Uh, good question. Probably. <laughs> but I'm going to double check so that I don't make an ass out of myself. Yes, yes, I am. Okay. So it's proficiency plus sleight of hand. I rolled a nine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus nine. Christ. Fucking rogues. <laughs> oh, man. When I'm good, I'm good, but when I'm bad, so holy as you, shit. So as you picking at it, um, the hole that you're picking out um, spits out some blue flame and like catches you in your face dealing one damage. Ah! Fuck. Jeez, man. Can I investigate the... The tapestries in the wall. Yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, you too, buddy? Yeah. Probably worse than a nine. Was it a one? No, it's a four. Eleven. I got oh. a pretty good investigation. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Fuck. Um, so out of just normally just checking the wall, you do notice that obviously since this area wasn't here, it's probably you got magically shrunk. But from trying to find any like clues or anything, it just looks like a normal wall. Nothing too important. The tapestries don't say it, or they just. The, uh, the tapestry is of that guy. His face or his um, like symbol. Uh, if, symbol. If it's his face, I gotta go find him and kill him right now. So one is him uh, doing like a uh, political pose. Oh fuck! And everything. The other one is showing him of uh, being a great warrior, slaying a uh, dragon. Pull out my zippo. And light the one that has light them both. <laughs> Just let them burn. <coughs> well, yeah. if they didn't know we were here before, they're gonna know now. They burn, and as you um, probably quick, they're probably dry as shit. Yeah, they just just up in flames. Mm. Now, if I can, I take the two poles and. Take it to take it to that door and try to use it like a like, to, like a lever to pop the door. Sure, go for it. Move you over here. Can I get Christmas to help me. Yep, he will aid you. I swear, if you brute for this force this door open after I've been trying to finesse it. Seventeen. Oh yeah, that's right. Twenty-one. Ugh. I swear to God. 
Let's see. Let me find door. I try to be the good rogue <laughs> and up lock pick and unlock I got, I got, shit. I got, I got no time for this. <laughs> got no time for it. And then Mr. Artificer over here comes in with a goddamn crowbar. Hey, it's <laughs> and says no. Allow me. It's like crank. It's like Aristotle said. You give me a liver, or I can pop the roll. <laughs> Remember, he is your party member, not mine. Um, all right, you know what? <clears throat> I will get yeah, twenty-one. You said. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, all three of you make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I don't know why I'm oh jeezing. I have good dexterity. <clears throat> Uh, 21. 11. Oh, wow, you actually rolled a... Uh... Alright, what was that? 11. Alright, so, fortunately you failed. Pass, pass. Uh, DC was 13. Um, so it'll be 10 damage total. Shit. As this, um... As you popped open, as this uh, paler of just blue flame just... Weep forwards, um, singeing your, um, everyone who fails skin. But does the door pop open? Yeah. Okay. That's all. Right. Um, so that'd be half, so it'd be five, so... Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, so it pops open. Oh, no. So, these doors are obviously trapped. Next time, we should try disarming them at first. It's open, isn't it? Yeah, but at what cost, really? I'm fine. Like, you're... As I guzzle, guzzle a healing potion. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> I'm not. I enter the room. As you enter Cautiously. This lights up in a normal flame. Um, this is extinguished, but it has a ring around it, mm -hmm. um, and it seems to hold um, two weapons rack uh, melded into the door, into sorry, into the cage. Two weapons racks melded into the cage. Yes. So and if I tried to pull a weapon out, it wouldn't budge. Correct. Okay. And there is a cloaked figure inside, just on, just sitting, and kind of like. Onto the gate. Hmm. Uh. I approach the cage slowly. I have my hand on my dagger of warning just in case. So that I know if I'm being. So that I can't be <clears throat> surprised, essentially. Christmas would go in as well. I'm gonna go check these. <clears throat> what are, are these just like light source light sources but this is where the stairs are yeah yeah right in between them I'm gonna take some string my, some of my tight like fishing line string and just kind of put it right over here all right I'm gonna go back to the door and watch as I, I approach the cage and I call out to the individual who are you there's no response. I poke pulling the uh, the pole. It's like poking with that. <laughs> <clears throat> I take the pole. So disrespectful. And I kind of lever it in through the cage bars, and I kind of nudge at him a little bit. No, you nudge. Just you have to give him a good... So he's on your end. Mm -hmm. And to give him a great push to the other side. And hopefully the cloak would, or whatever. I'm just trying him. to get a reaction out of him. It's nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, what else? Is there anything else about the cage itself? Like, does it have a door anywhere? Uh, it does not. It does not look like a door has been built for it. Does it have anything on top that would indicate it gets raised, maybe? Uh, like a chain or pulley system? 
perception check. Me too, man. Me too. What? My my passive is fourteen. If that helps. So just uh, you're so close. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and do a perception check then. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Roll the nine, man. Plus what? No, that's the total. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so not yet, not not quite there yet. Um, All right, but you probably do have a feeling that if it's not built around, there's probably something on the top. So that's out of a hunch, but you don't see gotcha. where it is. Hey, Christmas, what do you make of this? Seems like a prison. My question is, this looks like a uh, flame ring, or at least possibly something. To do with it maybe this is a key to unlocking this yeah but do we want to unlock it well why would that guy um lock something up if he wasn't imprisoning it good question why would he lock something up maybe it's dangerous maybe he can aid us Tori, did you have anything in this house that can aid us? My room was pretty much cleared out, so... And this wasn't here last time I was here. Can I walk in? Yeah. Can I investigate? Mm-hmm. Uh, 18. Um, so by just now giving a good look over... Um, you know this... What this is, um, it is a, um, a magical training simulator, uh, for fire to help test and show the different elements of fire. So normally what your family would do is they would cage a small dragon in here and have it shoot their flame in here so you can, and this would catch it and keep it for an X amount of time so you guys can study it. Is it, it's not lit though at the it moment. It is not lit, correct. And uh, whatever's inside is not responding. Do I remember how to open the cage? Uh, the cage can only be open usually either by this being lit and extinguished or this being lit and then the command word for this being open. Do I remember the command word? Um, do you speak Draconic? Yes. Oh. Uh, it's just uh, open sesame. Draconic word for release. Right, so. Zippo, and light the light the ring. You go and light it, and Zippo just stops at it. Looks like it doesn't take regular fire. Hmm. Where did? I'll say I'll say, release and draconic. The ring will um do like a red <clears throat> sound. Gesundheit. Wait, do I speak Draconic? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if you said that. <laughs> um, speak Elvish and Draconic. Nice. No, I do not. But that's okay. Uh, you said this was just a regular fire? Yeah. Regular fire. My flamethrower is not magical fire. <laughs> uh, Caitlin, uh, Caitlin speaks draconic as well. So we know the firing does not react to regular fire. Um, do we have a way of producing magical fire? How? What was producing the blue fire that hit us? Is the question? Is a good question. Can I investigate the door to see where the source of that fire came from? Yeah. Um, we'll say that you close this door and go ahead and do an investigation on the door. Mm -hmm. I rolled a flat ten. I will take you a little bit to um, find all the loose things and everything. As long as you stay in this room for a bit, you'll be able to. All right. Fine. 
Something. Something. In the meantime. So as he's doing that, is there anything you want to do? Magical tinker one of my dummy coins and I'll throw it into the uh, for light and throw it into the cage to see if I can't get a better look at what you call them. As you um, throw it in there <coughs> and you know lands, um, you can't see roughly the face, but you'll be able to see just kind of looks like blue scales on it, and the thing kind of just grabs the coin and tucks it in this um, cloak. Intraconic, I'll be like, can you give us some fire on this thing? Uh, it's a blue dragon. Right? Mm. Blue dragon doesn't have fire. It's got like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blue dragon boar. Mm. So, so whether it's, sorry, I guess it would, instead of the flame, there's just any dragon's. Oh, okay. Elemental. Fresh wet. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. So they always refer to it as a dragon's fire. Dragon's breath. Back in for us, yeah. I need you to breathe on this, I can get you out. Which, don't you still have yours? No, I used it. When did you use it? Against the zombies. Yeah. Ah. I'll say you have a little left over. Because oh. that was the key to this. Alright, well, that was like, <laughs> shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, there you go. Hey, it's sorry, don't you have some of that dragon shit? You got yeah. it 10 years ago? I wonder if it's her. Uh, yeah, I'll use the breath and... <laughs> it lights up in... That's um, Indraconic. <coughs> That's Draconic. Dimini, himini, bimini. Indraconic. You will hear um, from the cage um, in a, a Draconic voice. Um, you were always lousy with uh, Draconic phrases. And uh, you taught me. the creature will rise and remove the cloak. Um, it's a female uh, dragonborn, which is, you recognize her as your parents' uh, personal bodyguard. Mm -hmm. And she arises, and this is now, it turns into like a lightning, but then the lightning turns into a bluish flame. As I'm investigating the door still, I turn around and go, Hey, uh, sorry I was poking you with a stick. It's fine. Is it, it's Carhead? Is that... Uh, Carham? Yeah. Carhead? Car uh, Wes... Oh, oh my god. Is that one? Female BFF of Tori's sister? No. Oh, god, but Gulf Gulf was known as the butler and Carhead... The Carbed? Carham? The Carhead? If you want to drink more... Vels... Vels Sparks? Yeah, we'll go with that one, because that looks about right. That's what I have here. <clears throat> you grew? Happens after ten years. <laughs> what are you still doing here? <laughs> I mean, she was in a cage. Been in a cage for ten years. <laughs> it's a long time. It has been. Sorry, that's... that was me, not Ren. Did, did my uh, parents put you there, or did this... Tug, not tug nuts put you in here. Your parents. They use me as a house weapons defense. They're using my press weapon. Did a bang up job. Thank you. But after quite some time, you know, your life becomes part of the house. Really would like revenge on your parents, but we'll talk about that another time. If we can find them, they're not here. 
Or are they? My knowledge, no. But I only, these walls have been my cave for the past 10 years. I escorted your family to their destination and then they teleported me directly in here. That's pretty fucked. Yeah. So I don't know who runs the house or what has happened in this to our home in the past 10 years. You're saying nobody's come in here in 10 years? The house has kept me alive for sustenance and um, everything. I haven't slept in 10 years. Tell you what. You help us burn this place down and you can take a nap. That might be good. Just one. I actually might have to lose a finger to do that. A finger? Why is that? She uh, moves her um, hand down. And you can see that a uh, ring has been welded into her finger. Ooh. That looks painful. I'm it sorry. Was. It is known as a ring of sustenance. You don't have to eat or sleep. Alright. Is this cage open? Can I remove it? Um, it has not yet been open. Okay. I haven't built my laser cutter yet. Okay. <laughs> she will, um... Tell you to stick your hand in the flame and then turn. If you would like to release me. Which flame? Uh, so this is still going, so through the, through the ring and then turn. Mm. Put it in there and turn. And then the cage disappears, starts... Oh no, it's... You gotta pop the bottom. Uh. Oh. I thought it was going to be like an epic reveal where I could just raise the whole thing up. No, those don't go like that. That would have been cool. Yeah, the dude's not put the bottom on. <laughs> that's, that's the bitchy part. <laughs> that opened that works. I really do need to get more cages, though. Cages are cool. Yeah. They were great for a uh, cell block. Dwarven Forge has got some on their side that are pretty cheap. It's like got all like a whole set for like eighteen bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Maybe about this size? No, bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Bigger. Oh. Yeah, I'll check them out because this was like took me a minute to like paint. Yeah. It's super easy. Um, I mean, it, it's like sections. It's like individual sections. It's like six or seven, something like that. No, per nice. set. So, what was our Dragonborn's name again? Carhead. Carhead. <laughs> okay. But with a K. Okay. Like K A R H E D. That's what yeah. I have written now. Yeah. Whether or not that's what it was at the time, I don't know. It's gonna be it. <laughs> Can we at least call her Carheed? Sure. <laughs> that's what it was. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I can take Carhead the Dragon Ball board seriously. Oh no! Yeah, no, that is uh, K A A R R H E D. What um, someone has on their notes. You want me to? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, you're not. Let me. Hold on. <laughs> this is gonna be my one room. Oh. I was like, I don't know. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got Karheed, the Dragonborn. She's now free. Of the cage, so we can move her out of there, I guess. 
and then her um, oh, no. the weapon racks become uh, molded back onto her as her weapons and armor. Oh, jeez. I won't do much good, but I'll be able to at least put up somewhat of a fight. We're all getting out of here. So let me catch you up on speed. Um, an orc took over the mansion. Filthy thing. This one probably. I don't want. I don't want to talk about any other orcs because I don't know any many other orcs. But he took over the mansion, and we're gonna go kick his ass. And then we're gonna burn this place down because I think that's what Atori wants. You really want to burn your family's legacy down? What legacy? It is by all rights yours, as long as your sister's not here. Hardcore. Now, you did you know what they were up to? Has suspicions, but luckily they since they kept me by their sides ever so tightly. I wasn't able to investigate too much. But the moments I had with you and your sister, I tried to make joyful in case it did go south. I didn't want to believe it because your parents did take care of this town and its people and cared about this town and its people. The helmet comes back on. I like, I I'm here to put an end to it. So be it. I'll help as much as I can. Quick question, did we all receive healing potions? Uh, no. Okay. I'm, I'm making mine. Gotcha. <laughs> I think I've got two left. And I think you found some in your um, treasure box. Okay. From your lab. I unfortunately did not write down I don't remember if I have one or not. Mm. Uh, I'll hold on to Chris is going to pop one of his own. Huh. Alright, so we'll get his health back that he lost. Do we, do we have dynamite? Uh, no. <laughs> I thought I remembered something about that. He starts making dynamite. Wrong game. Don't tell him. Alright, well. Is there anything else in this room of note? From uh, my knowledge, this room just was in prison to keep me in. Then. Let's uh, forge ahead, I guess. So, wait a minute. This room didn't exist. When I lived here. Did it? It did not, no. If it did exist, it was unaware of my knowledge. And I knew this house and all of its secrets. Even your little secrets. In the back of my hand. <laughs> but if this is a new part, I'm assuming something has happened to the house or... Insight. See if she's lying. Alright. Oh, it's not great. Eleven. What do you think she's telling the truth? Mm -hmm. You feel um, she's telling the truth on that. I can't prove her wrong. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um. Alright. Where to next? Did you come in with this, everyone? We got a couple more. We have another team. They're providing distraction at the party. They should let us know if something goes awry. What party? The one downstairs. She's been in, locked away for about ten years. Um, there's a big gathering of crime bosses, or just really bad people, in this building right now. And that's kind of how we got in. We, our end goal is to take out good old Tug. 
I refuse to acknowledge him as... A tugger nuts? Yeah, that guy. Well, I do need to release some anger. Have it built up over ten years, so... Point me in the way and I'll take care of the party. <laughs> Alright. First things first, though. We need to gather some intel. There's gotta be more to this place. Is the wheel barging in just the three of us? Three of us? Four of us. Four of us. Three of us. Yeah. <laughs> just the four of us. We're gonna get our shit robbed. So. Um. Atori, are there any other parts of the house that you think are worth investigating before we, uh. Yeah, Head on into the... There's that other room that we couldn't get into. Alright, you want to try brute force in that one? Because uh, your method worked a lot better than mine did. Mm-hmm. Unless you know where the keys are for any of these doors. If the house has changed, I feel like I won't have the necessity right. of knowledge. Brute force it is. <laughs> Right, so you're going to go out the doors? We're yeah. going to go out the doors. Out the doors. Do, 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 do. 20 people waiting for us. Well, oh, not that many. Not 20. Just 19. Just so as you exit the door. Wow. A Goliath. Two Goliaths. Two Goliath eye. Did I come up the stairs? Uh, no. Just it just spot. looks like they appeared. Ever so quietly. Um, so we will go off of uh, that initiative. Uh, Kayleen Christmas and Tori, or Kayleen Christmas ran and Tori monsters. Alright, so Caitlin is not here. So the next one is... Christmas. Christmas. Um, ah, great, more fun. I'll take the red one. Where's the attack? Hits. Ooh, nice, he has a nice whopping damage of eight. Just had him. That's what happens when I move my notes around. Well, why'd you move your notes around? I right? don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I just had their stats too. That's gonna I know. be okay. At least eight damage. Uh, his second attack. Seventeen, and on that will hit. And that'll be five damage. Alright, after Christmas. After Christmas is me. Alright, my The friend. guy. The one and only. Uh, so. Since I was alerted to the presence of these bad guys coming out the door here, that's a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, right back here against the wall in the corner. And I'm going to attack this Brad boy right here, the red one, with my longbow. Oh, your longbow. The longbow, because I have range. Now, tell me, does a dirty 20 hit? A dirty 20 hit. Oh, great. Just what I wanted it to do. He'll take 11 damage. 11 damage? Plus some sneak attack, because he's being... Is he being flanked right now? Uh, he has an ally next to him. Yes, right. he is. So take uh, 10 more damage. All right, let's see if... Right, because I assume they, they have stone skin as their ability, um, which I think they get to roll a dice, and then whatever they roll, that's minus... 
Okay. Damage wise. So okay, so I think, it's damage mitigation. Yeah, I think they get that one per day as Goliath because I realized what I was doing last time was a orc ability. Mm. They just stay up at one. Um, no, that's, so that's a good, that's a barbarian ability too. Oh yeah. So um so that one, so you shot him directly, but he was able to flex that extra damage off. Um so because I rolled a ten, so then mitigated. Root. Right? I didn't well, I was like, oh. Um, but you, so you did the first one was eleven. Eleven. Alright. He does not look good. You look at that shot, then damn and you found that one weak spot in his um stone skin. Uh, next is a toy. I'm gonna charge this one and basically come up and Superman punch him. Hey yo, let's go. Punch. Oh, um, this is 25? That means check my math. <laughs> Hold on, it might be 25 to hit? It might be less. I, bet, I forgot I'm supposed to roll this stupid thing. Oh. Uh, 23. Yes, that hits. Uh, 12 damage. Max damage. Ooh, nice. Um, any other, like, it doesn't push oh, him back? Uh, no, it doesn't push him back, but if he attacks anybody besides me, it's a disadvantage. 10, 4, 12 damage. He looks, you give him a good punch, and he's like, oh. He looks very shocked that you were able to do <laughs> that. Go to a damage to him. Thunder punch. Which being a little. That's what it's called. Well, it's called Thunder Gauntlet, but I'm like, Thunder Punch. No, nope. <laughs> I like it. He, he looks shocked. Uh, after him? Oh, the monsters. Alright, we'll go with the one um, facing Rob first. Um, does a 12 hit? It does not. Alright. <laughs> would if I... No, it wouldn't. At Christmas. And luckily I miss Christmas. Alright. Uh, that will be their turn. I want my extra turn. attacks on you. <laughs> I'm gonna rock you on this bitch. <laughs> Too bad they don't have um, electric immunity. Hmm? Instead of ground that rocks. Um, good try, good try, buddy. Thanks. Uh, Christmas. Back up to the top. Alright, he'll go for his attack. Miss. And that one will hit. And so the first one blocks with this um, great axe. <laughs> But then Christmas just comes at the blind spot and stabs it in the head, dropping the creature. No. Oh. He'll go ahead and move over here to give you flanking. All right. Um, I think it's you. Oh, sorry. She'll <laughs> come out. Oh, I forgot she was here. I did too. Oops. All right, Tori. I do believe you're next, right? Me. No, I'm next. Oh. Ren is next. Ren's next. Ren's next with his longbow again. I meant Ren. You know, you know what it's what it's about to happen. All right, gonna, do it. Does a dirty 22 hit? That would it. Oh, <laughs> man. D great. Have five damage from the longbow plus uh, the sneak attack, which is six damage. So take 11 damage to him. All right. Get hurt, scrub. As you the see say. the um, stone on him harden. You bitch. You stop doing eleven damage. You sassy bitch. And it kind of just like it would hit, but then he would just harden skin and break the arrow. And just roar at you. Uh, Rand, are you done? Yeah, unfortunately. All right, Tori. I only get one attack. Rabbit punch to the kidneys. Oh, no. Not a rabbit punch. <laughs> uh, 18. 18 hits. Uh, another 12 damage. Down it goes. <clears throat> Falls forward. Thunder punch. <laughs> all right. So even after all this commotion, you hear nothing down below. Oh, that was fun. 
Those were the things you were talking about. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. No, they weren't part of the house. Good to know. Hey, Tori, you want to sneak into your sister's room? You said that so quick. <laughs> Not really, but might as well. Uh, is the door open? I'll go it open. is? I'll open it. Strange. Yeah, I expect of all the doors to be uh, booby trapped, this one would be the most. She's not here, though. It's fair, it's fair. I will perceive the room. Do you go inside? Sure. Can I also perceive the room? <laughs> so you go inside, and we'll. Inception! Whoa! It'll look at um, exactly kind of like what you see here. Um, do I have a model? I'm gonna grab something. Wait. Too bad. You, see, you see a fingers. fuck you finger in there? A big old fuck you finger? Big old fuck you finger. Oh, yeah, well I have one right back for it. Hey, that's that's rude. Only I get the fuck you fingers. Well, too bad because there's two more here. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh god, not the fuck you finger. <laughs> Take those away. Uh, right. Um, up here at the little stand with a book and the altar, you actually do see your sister, and oh. she's reading. She goes. All right. I wasn't expecting that. Does she uh, look older or does she look like... She looks older. Okay. About 10 years. Um, okay, so you two stepped in? Yeah. And then it all closes. It's just us two? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Well, I guess this is an obvious trap now. Why would you say that? Because you locked the door behind us, didn't you? Just to make sure we have a pleasant conversation. Uh, what are you doing here? Why aren't you with mom and dad? You weren't the only one they abandoned. Why are you helping out Tugger Nuts? Who says I'm helping? So you've been locked in this room by yourself for ten years? Do you think anyone could keep me in prison? If you must know, I ran away from mom and dad once I found out that what they were doing. What are you doing now? Experimenting. On what? Everyone. Everyone? Everyone and everything. I'm glad to see you survived my little experiment I sent you away. What was that? The church. That was you? That was me. Man... So you're just as bad as mom and dad. I only do it to the criminals that infested this island. Why'd you do it to us? I need to see if it could withstand. And if my little brother fell to it, then he was worthless. Want well, to see how strong my little brother got in the ten years we've been apart? Man, with times like this, I'm glad I'm an orphan. Shit. Um, is she doing a ritual? You can safely assume she is, yes. Do I recognize the ritual? Um, history or arcana check? Why keep rolling these dice? Mm. Uh, what's, what's, what's the sister's name again? Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. Got it. Starts with a knee. Your your sheet should yeah, be. That's what I'm yeah. I don't know. I want to say Elena for some reason, uh, but I don't think that's right. Not quite right. Mm. 
This is us being completely unprepared and not knowing the backstories of our own characters. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. It's okay. It's okay. Because I also... Alina. Alina. Ah, I was close. Alina. It's like Elena doesn't sound quite right, but it's... Uh, you know it is a summoning of a demon soul. Gosh. But, yes, yeah, it's a summoning of a demon soul. We already have beholders to deal with. We don't need anything else. What, ma'am, what are you trying, what, what exactly are you planning right now? Oh, I just need a little upgrade. To what? Oh. Bitch of the century. That's no way to speak to your older sister, who you haven't seen in ten years. Insight check. Since it's <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I so she she Maybe emphasizes. Um, I'll still give you a little clue for this. Uh, she emphasizes that you are the younger one. I wasn't the younger one. She she was the younger one. Oh, well, she's gonna convince that she's the older one. Yeah, she's convincing herself that she's the older one for this. So it might not be my sister. It might not. <laughs> But, uh, oh, I just made a foo bar. <laughs> but either way. I kind of like the fact that it's not her. Hey, we awesome, all man. Time you want so, whatever. Uh, this, I'm still going to go with your sister. Uh, she'll say. Um, but you pick up that she said that you haven't seen in 10 years. So you, you notice that she is emphasizing, every time she says that phrase, she's always emphasizing you. Yeah, I think she's trying to tell you something, man. She's always been annoying like that. No. She's she's been watching you. Yeah, I doubt that. Alright. <laughs> we'll go with it. So, Alina, what are your plans right now? You're summoning something. That much I can tell. Just by looking at you, at least. Ah, oh, you have grown in your wits in the past ten years. And not on your, just your religious aspect. It's stuff we weren't supposed to touch. Which demon? Demon? It's oh, only a low-level one. There's no low-level ones with demons. You know this. It's a low one I can manipulate and bargain with for the you time being. You don't mean. manipulate or bargain with demons. Well, you have an island of souls for them to collect. You do. Including yours? Oh, of course not. Come on, it's called backstabbing for a reason. Yes, that's what they'll do to you. Not if I imprison them first. You can't keep them in prison for a lot, forever. You doubt my capabilities. I doubt everybody's capabilities in this. You <sighs> don't mess with this stuff. And that will be your downfall. <laughs> underestimating others. Now, would you mind? Can I finish what I'm doing? Or would you like a demon to appear and you can take care of him? Can't allow you to continue. I'm just needing an upgrade. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Once I get the upgrade, I will be out of your hair. So you don't live here anymore. You just use this for your summoning area? Pretty much, yeah. How do you get in and out without being detected? Teleport. That would be the easiest one, but since the house has been activated, it's a little harder than that. I mm. created a path, you see. And she nudges to the chest. I go through the chest. And a port key. Where does the chest lead? In an alleyway. Somewhere in town. Do you, have I been to that part of town? Uh, she could mean any yeah, fair enough, any fair place. Enough, enough. You got me there, DM, with your <laughs> way with words. Is there a summoning circle on the ground? Or? Oh, this is it. I realized I was just, like a bit delayed. The thing in the center. Um... What do you, what, can you, before, words are so hard, oh, shit, I we stood up it. and all the blood rushed to my head <laughs> instead. Hey, hello everybody, I'm learning how to talk again. 
What exactly are you planning? What is this upgrade you keep talking about? Well, you see, since you ask so politely and still have your manners, you were always a nice one. This, uh, it's been a long ten years. Don't push it, please. Well, I, no, I want to push it. Well, something else I might, but... Mm. We'll get back to your question. Please. You see, I have learned how to use demons to enchant items that I may use to my benefit. That sounds very risky. It normally is, but it's a lot more powerful than creating or buying magical items. Duration is less, but it'll get the job done sooner. So, let me get this straight. You're making cursed weapons? Not oh, cursed for anyone else, but proficient for me. You used to be so smart. That hurts. You don't think I'm already smart? No, I'm not two steps ahead of everyone? I'm from messing with demons, you know. If only you can see the bigger picture, little bro. One day you will, and when you do, you realize that this is a necessity. What's the summoning circle made out of? A stone. So it's, it's, it's just carved into a stone? Yeah, all the runes and magical things and the skulls and whatnot. Oh, well, the skulls are skulls, but... Um, yeah, but everything here is just stone. So, let me get this straight. You're here making cursed weapons for yourselves. For what benefit, really? Testing, experimenting, and doing it over again. Testing, experimenting, and repeating. Correct. It is what a... Oh, what a Tory like to use. What's that S word? Science. With demons? Everything can be part of science if you... Um, Experimenting along with us enough. What do you think our parents did? I'm just taking after them. And so have you. I feel like there were more constructive ways to take after your parents than demonology. But, you know, I guess to each their own. Well, we can try doing it with angels and see how that goes. First mom and dad. If I knew, I wouldn't be here. And what? even if I knew, it's not like I plan on visiting them anytime soon. If I do, I plan on visiting them to kill them, but I am not strong enough, and even I can admit that. I'm just a two-bit sorcerers. And that hurts, but if... You are done insulting me. I like to finish what I'm doing. You guys interrupt her at all while she's doing this. Um, she's your sister. I know. If there, is there anything in the summoning circle at the moment? Uh, not that your eyes can see. If we take, if we can take out the summoning circle before it summons anything, then I whisper to Ren. Now, I'll back you up on this, but let's explore our options here. What if we can convince her to help us take this place down with a demon? There's no way on earth I would trust that. Yeah, but we don't have to help her with the demon, per se. Unless she has her demon, she's already said she's not powerful enough to help. Take down your parents. But we just want to take down the house right now. You know, get these assholes out of here. Why'd you say it like that? Say what? Take down your parents. Didn't you mean our parents? Yours, ours, what's the difference at this point? Point my gauntlet of it. Who are you? Does it 
know who I am. But you know who I am. I'm your lovely older sister. I'm going to test my luck on this. Can I inside check that? Sure. Ah! Uh... <laughs> nope. <laughs> yep, that's totally your lovely older sister, who is quite literally the greatest thing in the world. Was it a one? Oh, yeah. Oh, a, yeah. I saw a five. Who's in Who's in that one? I just have a plus four in that. First nat one of the night. Yeah! Hopefully the last nat one of the night. And it's on an inside check where I get to be a dumbass. All right. I think we should totally trust your sister on this, who's obviously your sister. Because she's never let us wrong in my memory, right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Mm, there's a pass. She would tell on us all the time. What are you talking about? I was a good noodle. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> With advantage. Gonna have to kill everybody. <laughs> Everyone secretly against you. Uh, yeah. Inside the <laughs> 20, 30, 20. Overall, he, his character did follow the rules, but he also followed what you guys did at yeah. times. Like, he, he wasn't. The I instigator was, most of the time? Because you were? No, it wasn't me. Well, <laughs> With your was crazy you, contraptions? It was you and Morty. I blame Morty. Yeah. I was a good noodle when y'all weren't around. Yes. <laughs> yes, when when you didn't have the bad influence in your youth. Yet I'm the one that I came just, out lawfully. I just, I just made shit. Which evolved them getting you shit, which evolved them causing trouble. I say... I still say we should, we can convince her to help us with this endeavor that we are going through right now. Because really, that's the best way to keep an eye on her as well. Where have you been receiving your training? Now that the mom and dad have left. Self-taught. That's scary. Which and also sneaking books. Sorry, borrowing books, because I'm a good person. So you can insight check. You can tell because she <laughs> smiled directly after she said that. So you're not a sorceress, you're just a witch. Ah, a witch, a sorcerer, and wizard, and arcanist. They're relatively all the same, just different terms. Different levels also. Ah, and I choose to go down a more darker path. It's my magic. I always knew you'd like to go down the hag path. I'll start for the door. I'll try to open it. It's locked still. You have to wait until I'm done, silly. Gotta make sure this demon doesn't get out. So we're just here as fodder in case you can't control this thing. Bingo. Magic missile to the altar to destroy the summoning circle. Ooh. Four shots. So I'm going to see if your timing was enough. Go ahead and roll your damage. Eleven damage. All right. Do, 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 stone. That's an auto hit. <laughs> Stupid magic missile. <laughs> do, 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 do. They, 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 they like pop out of my gauntlets and just start firing. Do, do, ba, da, da, da. Pretty much. I can set up. Don't iron man. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Uh, as you um, shoot your magic missiles one at a time and it hits, um, the altar absorbs the magic. And she goes, that what I was waiting for. And then the candle just still, and she closes the book. Thank you, little brother. It's exactly what I needed. Man, she baited you. 
and you, you hear the door unlocking. You may leave now. Is it the glowing? Or? It has stopped glowing. So, that's it? You just needed the boost in magic? And you knew he wasn't going to willingly do it? So you baited him into trying to destroy the, the altar? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's easy bait, didn't take much. Man, she really played you. I pull out uh, something from my bag. I'm like, are we the only ones in here, though? And I throw a flower bomb. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't percent tell that. Okay. No, I'll see okay. if there is actually something in here. Go ahead and you roll me a percentile as well. Let's, let's see if we can get some fun. Uh, it's Paranormal Activity 3. Okay. A 2. two a 2. A 2 percent. A two, if you will. Hell for, hell for. Gelatinous cube! Ah, oh, shit! Ah! Damn it! God bless America! Co covered in flour? It's covered in flour. <laughs> it's an invisible gelatinous cube that's now covered in flour. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, yeah. That's <laughs> not <laughs> Just in giggles. Oh. So, you just block. I just look at her, this is your demon? No, that's my pet. Oh, fuck. That was just in case you tried to kill me. All right, I've had about enough of this room. Um, oh, but before you go, I will have a gift for you. She turns to this, opens the cupboard, takes out a uh, little bag, and walks over to you. For your assistance. I take the bag, question mark. If I look in this, am I going to get hurt? No. All right. Unless you smashed over your head. I'm going to choose to believe you. I could be a of <laughs> Not that mean. Open the bag <laughs> and look inside. Uh, it is eight common potions. Eight common potions. Common po com what common potions? Sorry. Healing potions. Healing potions, <laughs> common. Sorry, I just... <laughs> Eight, eight just common potions, okay. Yep, just, right, just random just, eight. Eight uh, potions, here you go. What do they do? I don't well, know. I, I want a them. potion of invisibility, <laughs> I want a potion of jumping, I want a potion of invincibility. But they're all potions. Yeah. They're all the same color. Revivify. <laughs> Raise dead. Why not? Let's turn that into a potion. You pour it down a person's throat as he died. Yeah, it's like a phoenix down. Pretty much it. What I can do for you assisting me. Huh. That's actually really nice of you. I thank you. You're welcome. You just kind of see this as sling her off and like goes into the walls. Do you realize I want to burn this place down, right? Well, I would like it if you didn't. Well, how about we make a proposition? I won't interfere. Don't burn down the house, and I'll take control of it. So I can become your demon later? No. <laughs> no. No, of course not. It will just give me more room to do my experiments. We'll make no promises on the burning down of the house part. There will be a lot of fighting. Oh, by all means. Save the bodies. But, if a fire happens to start, let it be known that we won't be uh, making much effort in putting that fire out. Well, as long as you don't interfere with what does try to put it out. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave you to your devices in here. Um, please don't do anything stupid. Well, I don't plan on to. Nobody ever does. Stupid just kind of happens, from what I've learned. So, uh, let me not knock everything over. Take care of yourself, and, uh, it was weird seeing you again, I guess. Bye. Bye, Ren. Bye, little brother.
I see it around, sis. And the door closes. Um, does it come in or out? What kind of handle is the open? Is it a knob or is it like a... Uh, it was a knob. It was a knob. And then it went away oh, when so you guys exited. So there's just nothing there? It's just a door still. But just no handles. I'm just trying to figure out a way if I could bar it shut. <laughs> Lock your sister in there. Pretty much. I like it. Okay, so minutes will go. Do we want to know what happened? Family issues. I mean, I would imagine it's your house, but what did you did you see? You just want to leave it as that? Uh, so I see a potential future problem, but right now we have now problems. Well, that's good. Well, surprisingly, the whole time you've been in there, nothing has happened out here. Good, because there might be demons in there. I'm not well enough to fight demons. That is um, slightly above my prey, Gary. Do we want to explore down below? Yes, no, maybe so. I don't want to make a decision. Okay. Do you yes? Oh, I don't know. So Christmas is going to ask, do you want to explore down below? Well, is there anything left up here? Except for that one door? No. Except for that one door. Um, I think I've had enough of up here, to be honest. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and move down below then. I'm gonna step over my tripwire. <laughs> Christmas goes, oh, yeah, that might be a good thing. <laughs> Wait, there's tripwire? You get guess the gist. In case we come back to this, I don't want to. Eh, eh. Oh, as we're leaving, can I loot those Goliathuses? They have they armor and no weapons. So, uh, so no armor, just uh, great axes. Just some great axes. Yeah. I'm gonna grab. Are there any arrows that I shot that are still good to go? That's what I was making. You, you don't need arrows. I don't need arrows. Oh yeah, I've got the repeater. I'm gonna take one of their great axes. All right. Two, two, two. Just a common great axe. Yes, sir. Okie dokie, Doctor Jones. What's that rogue gonna do with a great axe? Good question. <laughs> As um, you stand, on a very, because everyone went before you, um, and no one else knows it, but you can see kind of the house get like a, um, a small pixel of light going through the floor. Just like... Not downstairs? Correct. The moment you hit that um, staircase, the bottom of it. Well, I guess in this case, it, yeah. That was weird. What's going on? Uh, flash of light. Took off somewhere. Probably an alarm. Oh, that's not good. No. Um, then we got to start working fast. What do you think our next objective should be? What do we got out? Um, this is the front door. This is the party area? Uh, yes, this is the party area on the outside of the, the dining the feast hall. Um, that looks like to be a garage garden area. Okay. And this led to the multiple rooms, and same with that one over there. Gotcha. We know Kaylin's in the banquet hall. Yes, Kaylin um, is in the banquet hall. 
Um, do you think we just ha should just head out into the party area? Into the uh, courtyard? Sure. Let's find tug nuts. Let's find our big boy. See if we can. Yeah. Alright, remember kids, discretion is key. I say as I pop one of those health potions because I am actually kind of low and I could use one. I don't know if I missed that part or... Yeah, take your time, buddy. I always get worried when he says, hold on, I need to pull up a stat block. Not that bad. That's what he always says. And then it turns out to be that bad. You know what, that's fair. If not worse. Oh, no. Mr. Ren, you found my pattern. Yeah, I know. It's okay, though. Or is it? You tell me, mister. You tell me. If I, if, well, if I say it's not okay, it's just going to be worse. Anyway. Um, is that, everyone get with that placement right there? Yes, sir. Alright, so as you guys get down and like ready to put out, um, one, two, three, four, three, four, five. Um, all five doors open, and each uh, out of each and every one. You gotta be kidding me. Assassins and right from the top as well so right above you suddenly appear out of nowhere just come out And you hear Welcome intruders Did you see my trip <laughs> <laughs> You say he went over it, okay <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want to roll for it <laughs> Fine, I'll roll for it <laughs> It's a faded choice, man. <laughs> Did he trip over Shut your fire? <laughs> Shut Welcome up. Welcome in troop. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> give, me, give me a second. We're Mel Brooks in this so bad. Oh, man. <laughs> I hate you all. Well, if it isn't... What would be the DC? Fantasy <clears throat> Kevin McAllister. <laughs> <laughs> what did <Sorry>. you roll? Bro, <laughs> 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 rolled a nine. <laughs> he doesn't have any decks. So Bro, he just fucking trips <laughs> down the stairs. Take He's like, ha, ha, I got you. Do, 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 do. I got you in true do 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 do. <laughs> exactly. And he just combat. <laughs> uh, so we'll go for the top. <laughs> She's not here, so as I'm taking my healing potion, it just falls at my feet. <laughs> Christmas. Uh kick him while he's down. I'm gonna let her take care of that. And he's gonna kind of rush over here. 
um, and stand at the ready. Kind of like, hopefully you have to bait them. Um, after Christmas is Ren. That is I, me, Ren, the guy who is going to do a thing. Um, I had a whole monologue plan and everything. <laughs> you had a whole monologue. I had a whole damn monologue. You can still do it. No, he fell. <laughs> it, the moment's gone. Listen, man, I just I got had a say, feeling that somebody was going to come that way, so I put up. I mean, I'm glad you had a feeling, but I literally <laughs> forgot it was there. Everybody has a plan. Even though so you told me, like five minutes fix. ago. <laughs> I was so caught up in the monologue. Sorry. <laughs> so, so you remember that great axe that I took? Yeah. I'm just going to attack him with that. Just kind of kind of bring it on down since he's prone. What? Uh, it, uh, it, what's, your, what's your strength? It's my strength. It's a flat 10. I think it would be a disadvantage. For really? It's, 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 it's a great axe. It's, it's a big fucking heavy axe. Yeah, yeah. Are you proficient with great axes? I'm not. I'm so yeah, so that would definitely be a disadvantage. All right. But I'll he's prone, it so it's a, sing- it's a, it's a, it's a flat, flat roll. roll. Yeah. I mean, you might as well, if you want, it's just a flat roll. Yeah, it's a six, so I didn't yeah. do anything. He, he moves out of the way. <laughs> Clump. Well, no. I let go of the I course. will not be treated this way. <laughs> oh, you're going to be treated any way I say. Oh, would that be it for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to back mm-hmm. up on off. Whoop. About ten feet, yeah. Uh, Tori. I'm going to come up to this guy. <laughs> People's, People's elbow. elbow. <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> Listen, we learned to hit a man while he's down. Yeah. Uh, People's thunder elbow. Oh. Um, <laughs> 24 oh minus. Hold on, I gotta roll this damn thing. 23. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, it's only 9 points of damage. Ooh. And then I will stand back up. <laughs> All right, so nine. I just want to do people's up. Like, Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh, roll me a perception check. Thirteen. All right, come on. All right, so you people's elbow him. Oh. Uh, would that be it for you? Mm-hmm. All right, monsters, we'll go ahead and um, deal with these two. They will go exactly where Christmas wants them to go. Over here. These two will move to a Tori. That's Ren. I said what I said. I know you did. Uh, that one will stay there. So um, first attack on Ren with advantage. With advantage, how dare you? Um, one will be a 20. Yeah, that hits. And then second one, because I only get one attack each. Uh, that would be a 23. That also hits. Alright, uh, so these are going to be to total damage. Um, no, nothing magical with them. This is going to hit you with what they got. 11 damage. Okay. Ooh. We'll say they pull out, um, morning. Oh, uh, let's do short swords. They come out, just slice you. Youch! Um, this one's gonna have a bow. It's gonna shoot a Tori. Natural 20. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. And this will be 11 damage as well. Two attacks on Christmas. Miss, miss. Oof, unfortunately that will hit Christmas. Not Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is losing five, gaining five. Losing five. Alright, that will be it. Oh, and he's going to stand up. Nah, I don't think he will. He's actually going to lay back down. It's okay. 
and he's gonna ignite his uh, his long sword. How rude! That will be his turn. Um, oh, and we'll put her car head. Let me handle this. Put her at the top of the order. Have her take care. Of yeah. So she is going to. I love how. Yeah. Uh, we'll just. We'll do a spear. That will hit. Eight damage to it. Alright. Christmas. Ah, uh, first attack. It's a plus five. Yep, hits. Second attack. Misses. Nine damage. Drops this one. All right. Ren. Ren me. I'm surrounded. That's not good. We're not supposed to be surrounded. We're supposed to do the surrounding because we're the rogues. That's not good. That means I am not in my element. But I have to be in my element in order to be in my element. I'm going to attack this guy right here. With my rapier. Plus one. That guy. Um, does a dirty 21 hit? Yeah. Cool. And then have him take a whopping grand total of 11 damage. Dead. Drop him. Watch out. It's like kicking the nuts. Da -da 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 -da. Cool beans. Um, if I move, I'd have to take... Attack of Op, yes. But, cunning action, disengage. Is that a mm. action and bonus action? Bonus, bonus action. Bonus. Then yes. Yes, I will cunning action, disengage on that. Because you did not use any of your uh, bonus actions. Exactly. And I'm going to back on up to the corner over here. So I'm out of that guy's line of sight. Love at the very it. least. I'm learning my game. Uh, Atari. Con pyro conveyor, conveyor and get these two. Oh, he's going to flamethrower. I don't like uh, this. DC 13. Okay, um, Vader. Oh, sorry, Nader. Um, Tater. Nader Tater. Tater. Uh, natural 18. And then for the desk, the guy behind him, uh, 13. Uh, they both save, so they take five damage. You should take five damage. Is that half? That's half. I rolled a ten. Okay. Hmm. And then I've got to roll. I'm good, but cool. So I rolled a one. <laughs> so it doesn't explode? No. Okay. Not this time. All right. And she goes, whoa. Ah, so I see you uh, master your toys. <laughs> what a witty banter. <sighs> well done, Master. <laughs> oh, should I say, uh, well done, Tori. Your friend saying that. Oh, I thought it was. No, the, not uh, the bad guy. But <laughs> your, your friend. You don't know me. You don't know me like <laughs> that. Bitch! Do you? Oh. <laughs> uh, would that be it for you? Uh. There's an idea brewing in Rob's head that you will not like. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, he already ruined my monologue. My monologue. It's like, my monologue. You're okay for right now. Um, yeah, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> um, it's about and try to just stab you. Rude. 16? Yeah, that hits. 4 damage. What uh, if I don't want to take 4 damage? The one all the way back there is going to shoot you again. 14? Um, the one attacking Christmas. Um, misses as well. 
I'm not a big guy. And it's going to look and it's um, hit his longsword and it will cast a uh, thunder wave. So I need you and her to make a I do believe it's a con save. Yes, con save. So she roll her save. Unfortunately, she fails. Okay, so natural 20 plus 2 minus 4, so 18. Yeah! <laughs> uh, natural 20s, you don't have to roll a d6. Alright, so this will be half for you, full for her. Peter's a benevolent god. So, uh, 5 to 2. 2 down. 2 to you, 5 for her. Uh, that'll be that's turn. Ah, uh, Christmas. First attack. Hits. Second attack. Misses. Boo, I think it hit. Was that? That's thunder damage, isn't it? Yes. That is thunder damage. I'm going to cast some absorb elements. As a reaction? Yep. Oh, nice. So I'm going to take that. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. So I'm going to take one damage. I think now I can hit hard. Ooh. <laughs> hit hard now. Absorb elements lets me hit you back with a d6 on top of my d8. Nice. So as um <laughs> he did that, you absorbed it, and then she ate it. Who? Uh, her. Oh, her. Carmen. Yeah, as a reaction, she goes, mmm, yum, yummy. Yeah, I haven't had a stack like that in a while. She's a blue dragon. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that entirely. Oh, yeah, she's blue. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, um, Christmas miss, red. All right. Well, since this guy has a fucking death wish, I guess, I'm going to go ahead and acquiesce that. I like Because he just keeps, uh... Getting in my grill, so to speak. Grill, So I'm yo. gonna go ahead and hit him. Does a 18 hit? Absolutely. Oh, good. So he can go ahead and take that. Ooh, boy. Uh, five damage. All right, Katoom. Um, on top of the five he already took, he's dead. Cool, cool. Um, hold on, just a second. Never mind, I can't do anything with that yet. Um, since he is dead and dropped, can I bonus action loot his corpse? Um, sure. Okay. Is there anything of value? No. <laughs> Alright, that's what I figured. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and... There's still that asshole over here, too. Yep. He's just pop shiny in a Tory. here so that I'm across from this guy love it and I'm good Ren a Tory sorry Tor I'm gonna circle around I swear I'll get it right eventually yeah one day uh, 16 uh, 17 17 uh, a 17 will miss Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. That's with advantage, right? <laughs> okay. I have my thunder thunder punch. I mean, is it gone? <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, step time. Uh, that is it. Monsters. Um, let's see. We'll boom, boom. Go in this corner over here. Still pot shotting you. Me? Yeah, you. Eight. All right. Um, attack on Christmas. That will hit Christmas, unfortunately. And that will deal five more damage to Christmas. How's Christmas doing? He's at three. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's been taking a lot of this damage. Good thing we got eight potion. Yeah. Seven, because I used one already. <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna need another one after this. Yes, he All right, He is going to turn over to you. 
He's gonna do. He's gonna hit his weapon again. Um. And then he's going to cast the spell Grease. So go ahead and make me a Dexterity saving throw. Uh, four. All right, so you fall prone. I do not. You don't? Nope. I'm gonna spend a charge on my armor. I can't. I can't go prone. Ah. Oh. You got a little. <laughs> you got a little back fluster. Mm-hmm. All right. He's going, why won't you fall? Because I prepare for this. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, the that'll wizard, be. The wizard is always prepared. But is always late. No, they're no, always on time. always arrive on when they're supposed to. All right. Uh, and I'm no wizard. <laughs> ah! Me. I'm it will be a her turn. That will hit. Four to seven. Uh, Christmas. Let's see if Christmas can yeah, give me flanking. If anything is new over here. Alright, so first attack, all Christmas really needs to do is hit once. No. So that hits. Yeah, this armor thing is broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? This armor thing is broken. Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> complaining, but yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, that will hit. You have to remember you have all this shit there. <laughs> Shit. Alright, it's Things still up. My shit. So the guy's still up, but it looks very hurt and bleeding. Um, Christmas almost had it, but didn't quite get there. Ren. Alright, Christmas. That's why they call me the closer. I'm gonna go ahead and... Really? Clo- I'm gonna go ahead and close up on that guy right there. Hey yo. Hit him with the, hit him with the old... Uh, does a 19 hit. Yes. Cool. I'm going to assume he's dead. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, he took 11 damage. Yo, yeah. He's dead. Cut to Right him. through the brain. Right through the brain. Um, Aw, man. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. Ah, All right. right. Do I have anything else I can do right now? At my level 3 rogue, I do not. So I... I'm gonna back up into the corner. Into the shadows. Alright. Tori. God damn it, 13. Ah. I had an 18, but it's probably a negative 5. Oh, shit. So I just keep. Ugh. Oh, uh, having uh, he's gonna say, oh, having little performance issues. Just wait. <laughs> Damn your clever quips! Oh shit! It's Spider-Man. Uh, monsters. Gonna take a shot on Christmas. Don't shoot Christmas. That will hit Christmas. Don't hit Christmas. And that will drop Christmas. Don't drop Christmas. Exactly at three damage. Jesus. Christmas is unconscious. He painted it. I don't know. He's admiring his handiwork. It's like, I don't remember. You don't remember doing it? No, I remember doing it, but I was like... I got the crevices pretty good. (laughs) You know, you did all of them really good. That's why I like using them. Um, okay, big guy. Um, let's see. God, what else can I do that you can't fucking... Not much, probably. <laughs> Aha! Let's see if you can get with this. It's gonna do uh, the same thing. Uh, but he's gonna do poison spray at ya. Uh, so go ahead and make me a con save. Seven. No, probably less than that. Yeah, six. All right. Oh, seven. All right. Uh, so it will just be one d12 damage for a failed save. 
So you will take four. <laughs> How do you like that? I don't like those apples. He didn't like those apples at all. You're next. You're next. No. Uh, we'll go to her. Let's see if she wants to keep going. Yay, that is a natural 20. Yay, the first natural 20 of the night. Is it? No. No. Oh. But four on your side, yes. Rude. Oh my god, damn it. Three, four, five, five damage. Um, that'll be it for her. Christmas is saving throw. Save yourself, Christmas. Uh, you can do it. Uh, let's see. D20. Roll. Christmas. Christmas, Christmas, that is a two. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Fail. Oh no, Christmas. It wasn't a one. Oh my God, I would be like no. Oh, that's only two stuff. Uh, Christmas. After Christmas, Ren. It's Ren. I'm gonna. Maybe. Hold on, I have a wonderful uh, when, idea. When you're <laughs> the NPC that you're loving and helping the group with and everything falls and now has to. Dice. Long bow. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna attack with a long bow. I'm gonna long bow this guy right All here, right. the big guy. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him. Does a does a 18 hit? Yes. An yes. A 18 it. hits. And then he can go ahead and take a whopping five damage from the long bow. But since he is flanked on either side, let's go ahead and add my sneak attack damage. Bump, 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 bump. That's a total of. 14 damage, but I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet because I have a super cool ability that is going to be. Let me see what we got here 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. Right here, this guy. I'm going to use my attack, Whales of the Grave. Um, as a phantom, immediately after okay. I deal sneak attack damage to a creature on my turn, I can deal uh, 1d6 necrotic damage to a target creature 30 feet within of that guy. That is PHP, right? I mean, not PHP. That is, like, yeah, wizards yeah. and everything, yeah. not, like, homebrew. No, that's, no, that's, that's, that's straight the phantom. That's I phantom. I completely forgot he was a phantom rose. I didn't even know. So, uh, I'll, no. So, 14 damage, though, right? He takes 14. He takes 5 necrotic. All right, so he drops. Hey, hey. And then Stop taking pot necrotic. shots. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Oh. He drops. Oh, so, well, hey, hey. Ugh. This is not the last time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. I can right. only use that twice per long lens right now, so... So I can get to him. Superman punch. Twenty-one to hit? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to use that. That was... I didn't even know you could do that. I like it. Sixteen damage. Oh, yeah. Superman punch. <laughs> Bam. Hole through the chest and everything. It's like applesauce, bitch. Applesauce. It falls. Um, would that be it for you? Yep. I mean, okay. everyone's dead. <laughs> do do do. Including Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. He's um, just down. She will walk over. Boom, 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 and try to do a basic medicine check to save a life. And nope. All right. Uh, Christmas. <laughs> Dear Christmas. Okay. That's a, that's a pass. It's one pass. All right. Rend. I am going to take one of the healing potions and I'm going to pour it down this man's throat. My man Christmas here. That'll stabilize him, right? Uh, go ahead and do your 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. I'm giving him a total of 9 health points. Yay! And I'm going to take one of those myself. And hopefully I also get 9 hit points. I get 6, but that's okay. Awesome. Um, 
after Ren and Atari. Let's take a healing potion. Okay. Um, so that'll be your turn, healing potion. Alright. Uh, monsters. Stands back up. Alright. So, you hear just kind of just like what sounds like um, gears and wood kind of like bending and contorting itself and you see like the skin on it just falls off and you see a puppet. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Uh, Thunder wave. So everyone over here will make a dexterity saving throw. Sorry, I can't save. I, I don't know. I like dexterity better. I know, but it's con. Sweet. Christmas got it. Uh, 13. You passed. <gasps> Luckily, everyone passed. But, okay, so here is your half damage. Two. I was gonna say, I swear to God, if you kill me after I healed, I'm going to be very upset. But I'm not, and I'm not. So I'm not. Uh, so yeah, you see him up, he'll do it one more time. And he'll look back. Fuck you! And Tori, uh, after them, she'll turn around. What the fuck? Goes for a stab. And misses. Christmas will get up. Turn over here. Goes for a stab. And miss. Ren. Guys, come on. He's... Dead. He is just blocking their attacks one after the other. Then I will have to show them how it's done, and I will also go in for the stab. And does a dirty 20 hit. A dirty 20 does hit. Oh, thank God. Um, then he can take... Ooh, max damage. Go ahead and take 12 damage. And... My sneak attack damage of 7 more. All right. That'd be it. Yeah, that'd be it. Sorry. All right, Atori. It's he's like wood and shit now. He is a uh, wood and shit. Yeah. I'll get within ten feet of him. And shit. <laughs> I don't like that. Pyro converter. Converter. Ah oh, right. shit! It's the flamethrower. DC thirteen. Oof. All right. Uh, rolled a natural 16. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 14. Takes 7 damage. Alright. Uh, and he's on fire. Ooh. Um, as he goes to fall, you hear a beep, 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 and then... Hit the deck! Make me a deck save, everyone. Uh, hit. except for you, Ren. Hit the decks. They both are good. And then it'll take half damage. 19. 18. Uh, so you guys pass, so half of your damage will be 4. Chris just go. I want a break. Me uh, too, man. Me too. After a Tory. I can't see. Are you, are you right here? Am I right here? Yes, okay. I am right there. Um, 14. Does a 14 hit me? Is that what you're asking yeah. me? Um, It matches, that's for sure. All right. Um, and this will be four damage. Mm. So out from this corner comes a you bitch and a uh, orc. 
with his greenish clothes, chains and all around him, and he just lashes uh, chain hooks at you and just right in your back rips. Ow! Back. Ah, you seem to have best my pup. Now you will be my new puppet. Absolutely not. In the name of our Lord and Savior and the one true ruler of this island. Tug. Ah, uh, boo boo boo. She's gonna look at you. Uh, so the Dragon Moon's gonna look at Atori. And then just go, let's see if this works. She's gonna breath weapon you. And just like kind of like coat you in uh, oh. her lightning. She made you lightning, man. So four. Two, 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 two. For three rounds, um, you have that extra D6. Okay. You can use it as a, a defensive thing, as when someone hits you, um, they will take a D6 electric damage, or you can add it to your attacks. So it's three rounds worth of one or the other. Things like you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that stacks. We'll find out. Uh, Christmas. Ah. <sighs> Shit. Five, ten. Gonna get in front of a Tory. As he wails through the bodies. I wish you wouldn't. You want him not to go there? Alright. Miss. I'm supposed to burn him too. Ooh. Natural 20. Ooh. 11. Oh god, sorry. Yeah, 11. 13 damage he did. So he goes up. He goes, enough! And stabs him directly in the gut. Um, after Christmas, Ren. After Christmas, Ren. Ren's got some hooks in him and he doesn't like that. Correct. The hook is in your back. The hook is in my back. There's right. a guy in between us. So your new movement, if you uh, don't want to do a strength saving throw or a strength check, would be 15. Hmm. 15 damage. No, that's wrong. I don't know why I said that. I'm I don't like know. That. I'm like, uh... All right, I 15 damage, sure, yeah, I right. guess. If you want to take 15 damage, I'm, I'm not going to stop <laughs> you. You do you. Um, all right. Well, since he's in the way... Oh, jeez. He's trying to do his job as a tank. And I appreciate that. I really do. But he's in the way. He's out of... Is it 15 feet from this person? or, or? Uh, 15 feet from him. Okay. Yeah, from the bad guy. So f that's 5, 10. I'm 10 feet away, so any further than 15, and I gotta strength check that. Mm -hmm. So I... I'm gonna move right back here, which will put me still in that 15 feet, and this d d d lovely Christmas isn't in my way for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. Love it. With the longbow. Ooh, With the uh, longbow. Right. Does a 17 hit? Yes, a 17 does it. A 17 hits and gives him exactly 5 damage and also the sneak attack damage of 10. So 15 total. He took 15, 15 total. damage. All right. You felt very confident in that one, but it, he just muscles it out in his orc rage. If that is the end of your turn. That is unfortunately the end of my turn. Bonus action. Goes a little closer. Oh boy. Throw it on the ground. Charge up. Drop to one knee and nut punch. Oh, why the nut punch? Johnny Cage. Why you gotta do him like that? Because he's tugger nuts. 22 to hit. That hits. Uh, Scoo me. 10 damage. That's enough? Yep, yeah, I'll do it. You. Four! Lord. 
tug. And he Thunder punch to the nuts. Falls and completely collapses and dies. <laughs> I'm keeping the chain and hooks. Um, it's a belt. I'm keeping it. So it's the belt and then the chains um, retract into the hook. Oh, uh, the, t- and, oh my god, the chains retract into the belt. I'm taking that belt. Okay. Um, he, if you loot him, he also has uh, five potions. I'm gonna take them potions. Five time potions. I'm gonna drink one because I need. And one. about seventy gold on him. I'm gonna take one of those potions and toss a Tory fifteen. It's not fifteen. Thirty-five gold. Here, spoils of war. Thank you. Christmas is going to be like, can I get one of those? I toss him one of the potions, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, hey. You got a four. You got the bare minimum. What a mood. So, I... Used one, gave one to him. There were five total? Yeah, five total. So that means there's three left of that. Carhead, how are you feeling over there? Perfect. All right, never mind. It feels like they didn't want to go for me. Well, I feel like they had you... more of a... Oh, and you also find a, um, a, uh, a key. Yee. Okay. It's probably a goddamn door. Probably. <laughs> so the barbarians don't show up. Alright. Um. What is the plan from here, Christmas will say, as he's still, like, holding his ribs and everything? Well, I wasn't expecting this guy to come out of here. He they came, came out, out of it. Yeah, yeah, he appeared. This guy out specifically. Here. Yeah, he um he just out of nowhere appeared here. Ah, like he was invisible and then we being appeared. Of all the times to not use your flower bomb, eh, buddy? No. Yeah, well. Um. Is the party still happening in the other room? Uh, after. Everything at first you couldn't hear it, but now you can actually hear the party going on. Christmas, let me drag this asshole in there. I don't know why I was looking at you like you were Christmas. That's me, Mr. Christmas. Uh, yeah, alright. So uh, we'll pick him up. Basically, what I want to do is go through the door, throw his ass on the floor saying he's dead, and basically, this is the Giver Mansion now. Get the fuck out. Alright, and that's where we'll call it. <laughs> um, so so we, we now have a home base. Well, we'll, we'll as the <laughs> dragging in part, we'll oh. we'll stop oh. there. Stop there. Um, thank you everyone for tuning was... in with us. Um, next week we'll go ahead and see how that resolves. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Support these fellows. Support us. Support the channel. Do all that fun stuff. Well, um, he said, if you love to see Rob destroy my monologues, please check in next week as Rob does the same stuff and I forget what he does. Sorry. It's okay. I don't mind. It's really funny. Uh, bye, everyone. Bye. Don't forget to like, favorite.